FNN. Headline News Update. everyone, 11 o'clock news and Tiger Financial uh, News Network. Uh, this is Basil Chapman here. We're looking at the Dow at 11 o'clock, up 53 at 34,244. It was down all the way uh, to the, uh, where, where was it? It was at 33, uh, oh, it went all the way down to 33,915. That 34,000 level was tested successfully, and now it's come back. It's, uh, it's uh uh, in leg D in the Chapman Wave methodology, that's where other things can happen. Got to be a little bit cautious as you see whether it breaks out or pulls back. So far, very nice action. The weekly cup formation right here in that rectangle says it should try at some point to get to 34,712. Uh, it might take a little bit longer, but at least it's, it's trying to get there. S&P is trying to get to the right here, getting to, I always do that. <laughs> Let's just get that right. There we go. S&P. Right now, the S&P is trading uh, down five. Now, what's really interesting about the S&P, if I can just click the right chart, there it is, is that within the context of leg D, it's quite a bit under yesterday's high, which is also close to the 200 period moving average. So how are we close to that? I think that we might take a little bit of a digestive phase over the rest of the day. We'll see if that happens. Uh, because we've got the long weekend coming up and sometimes people are a little nervous holding positions over the weekend. QQQ, same thing, leg D could be a peak D at 278.20, down 84. IWM has been quite good. Um, it's actually up 22 cents at 186.08 over the 200 period moving average. Looking at the gold contract, so is gold going to pull back? No, it's getting stronger. It's up 18 at 19.17. And one of the reasons is that the dollar is very very weak it's still it's it's unchanged now at 102.25 but most importantly when you're looking at the overall market crude oil is in a trading range it's trying to rally back towards the 82 level it's at 79.45 up a dollar or five and i didn't have a chance in my show because of all the other things we were talking about in the tiger technicians hour a few moments ago but bonds uh, peak A, peak B, leg C. Bonds are trying to get back to the 132 level, that 130.25, and that means yields are going to be pulling back a bit. So with that said, I'm going to hand you over. Steve Rhodes recorded a little earlier. Steve Rhodes coming up. Uh, then you get Think or Swim. You get uh, Larry Pizzavent. Uh, sorry, you get uh, Dave White. Larry Pizzavent. Larry Pizzavent. Dave White and Tom O'Brien wraps it up. Have a wonderful long weekend, and we will see you all on Tuesday. But stay Tune for great programming. Yeah, TFN. And remember, Tommy starts us off at 9 a.m. in the morning.